Hello everyone, this is RJ with Prayer Through Proverbs. I would like to welcome everyone who's joining us today as we gather and pause to pray for the nation and for ourselves as we are going through this time of pandemic. And also as we read from Proverbs, today is Proverbs chapter 11. I have to say today is filled with a lot of wisdom. This might be a chapter you might have to read two, three times to really hear what God is telling us. There's many good verses about how we need to pray for this nation, how we need to pray for uh, the leaders. But I wanted to focus on a word that appeared quite often on this chapter, and it's a word righteousness. Normally, when we think about righteousness, we think of people who do the right thing. But I have to tell you that the definition of righteousness are the ones who are in a covenant with the righteous Lord. Now, being in the covenant means that because we are in that covenant, we will do our best to do what God is willing us and God's will is and God is wanting us to do. And therefore, yes, uh, the righteous tend to do things right, but it's not about the action. The righteous is more about our humility and our obedience to God's wisdom, going back to the fear of the Lord. And from chapter 11, I wanted to read three verses that says, Riches don't help in the days of wrath, but righteousness rescues from the death. The righteousness of the innocent makes their path straight, but the wicked fall in their wickedness. Those who do right are saved by their righteousness, but the untrustworthy untrust are caught by their own desires. I'm going to start by pointing out the first two verses that I read. If you think that righteous, if you uh, put in that definition of righteousness as relying on to God, it talks about how we need to rely on God, not into riches. We need to rely on God. And because of the strength that is given by God, we are able to live with innocent. We are live in the right way. We are not to do things, any shortcuts that will come and haunt us later on. But I want to read once more the third verse that I read, which is from verse chapter 6. Those who do right are saved by their righteousness, but the untrustworthy are caught by their own desire. Righteousness is following the desire of God, not mine. And like I said, because we are following God's desire and because we are in that covenant with God, we're called righteousness. And therefore, there's a higher chance that we can live right. Because we don't want to be the untrustworthy who are caught by their own desires. Now, this is a time that we need to find what our own desire is versus what God desires. And it is easier for us to do that. It's easier for us in these times to really focus on God's desire and live in that righteousness. And maybe because of that, we might be able to do right. And I want us to come and focus on asking God to reveal our own desires that are not right in God's eyes so we can lay them down unto the cross and truly follow God's desire. And when we are following God's desire and when we are in that covenantal relationship with God in righteousness, Let's pray that God will be that rescuing hand in our lives and also in this nation as we face and overcome this pandemic. So let us have a time 
to pray together. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you acknowledging that there are many desires in our heart that we need to lay down onto the cross in order to follow your desire alone. And when we are following your desire, as righteous people called into your covenant, we know and believe that you will make a way, that your will will be done, and you will continue to be glorified through all that we do as we humbly follow you. The Lord be with us as we pray and help us to align ourselves to your desire and your will and your wisdom. So join me in a time to pray, offering yourselves and maybe even offering your life and your own desires to God, for God to transform it into God's will. So let us have a time to pray together. Let us pray. And as we pray, let us continue with the prayer of interceding for all those who are suffering because of this virus. Pray for those who are battling with the virus currently. Pray for the families. Pray for those who lost their loved ones during this time. And also let us pray for those who are stricken by the economical hardship. And I want like to add one more. Let us pray for those who are suffering mentally, uh, suffering because of anxiety and fear during this time. They all need our prayer. And we pray that our prayer will reach beyond the ones we know and unto the lives of the ones God knows. Let us pray together. And as we continue to pray, let us pray for our leaders. Let us pray for our medical staff, our essential workers. And let us pray that this nation will be in unity as we fight against this pandemic. So let's have a time to intercede and pray together. Let us pray.
And as we continue to pray, let us pray the prayer that Bishop Lewis had asked us to pray every day. Join me in the time of prayer. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. It's Jehovah Jireh, our provider God. We ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue our prayer with the prayer that our Lord had taught us, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us once more. And I pray that you will continue to seek God's wisdom. And I pray the Holy Spirit transforming our lives as we walk through the Word and also through prayer together. And may God bless this world and this nation as we are going through a tough time. So continue to be a blessing as you remain in righteous with the covenant of our righteous Lord. If you have any prayers, please send it to uh, RCM prayer, pastor at rcmc.org or just comment below and we will pray with you. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.